Limsa has very strange music. And this is the Etherite Plaza, which is very different. Um, here's the map of Limsa. And yeah, it, does, it is actually separated by upper and lower. Here's the lower deck. Um, this is kind of where the uh, the like the GC headquarters would be in modern. Yeah, it's kind of moved around. Um, so the first thing I'm going to take notice is the Musketeers Guild. So to get there, uh, did I pa yeah, here's the like, right over here. To me, this sounds like like old Dob music. This doesn't sound like Limsa music to me. Where the heck is this freaking Etherite? Am I like completely blind? Am I? Are you the Etherite? Should be the Imperials breached the safe defenses I'd wager the Drowning Wench would be a safe place to take refuge, but even a tavern full of adventurers won't be able to do much about it if Dal Dalamud comes around. I should familiar sight with my escape route, so the Etherite is just beyond the scares, and the Browning Drowning Wench is next to the weapon store. Great. Okay. Thank you. Uh, there's no Etherite apparently. So, back to map. Okay, we're just gonna head north. We'll we'll hoof it out. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the Viper class. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I think it looks cool. I like the Final Fantasy IX reference. Um, I think Final Fantasy IX is really underappreciated in 14. So I'm glad to see like more references to it. Let's see, what do you sell? Uh, it just kind of just looks like a cool class. I'm looking forward to learning it. I still need to learn. I still need to play Reaper. I have never played Reaper. Uh, oh, you still sell fish. That's what you do. Okay. I have... What classes do I have at 90? I have... Summoner, Samurai, Machinist, Dancer, Paladin, and Scholar, and Black Mage. I'm working on Red Mage right now. I, like, even in my other characters, I have not set up, I have not set up, um, Reaper. I still need to play Reaper. Anyways, this is the Driving Winch. There are no NPCs here because private server things, so it is completely empty. Oh yeah! <coughs> <coughs> I have all the crafters and gatherers too. Leveled up. Um, I'm working on my relic for my gatherers. I got the bo the botany one. I'm still I'm working on the mining one. You sell potions. Herbs and unctions you seek. I just like looking at what they sell. Oh, you sell ingredients to make potions. And, like, garlic. Uh, yeah, Hosey, the, um, the, like, the crystalline mean relic that you can do, um, for crafting gatherers. It's actually, like, I think that's where they put the grind for all the relics is in the crafting and gathering rel relic because there's like a ton of stuff you have to do and you have to get. Um, like the first step of the mining relic alone is like 180 like hidden items and 180 of a thing you get from... Oh, that's not the right way. I am going the wrong way. Um, Thank you. 
and 180 of like items you get from like collectibles. And if you get max collectability, I think you only get like three items. So you have to get at least 60 collectibles. I don't know, it's a fun grind though. I, I've been enjoying it. It's, it's just fun to kind of chill out and just gather when I have nothing else to do and no one's on. And no one's on. Alright, so quick stop at the Culinarian's Guild. You have all these NPCs out here, and you'll notice that in, in like, ARR, the NPCs out here in the Culinarian's Guild, they're, like, you can't actually talk to them. Or, some of them, you can't really talk to them. <laughs> yeah, I understand what you mean, Hosey. Um, but that's, like, half of, like, the gameplay from Miners. Uh, 1.0, all of the NPCs you can do are interactable. They're known, like, of the, uh, ones that like, kind of like do emotion or ones that are just there and like interacting among themselves. They are all named talkable NPCs. Alright, so y'all are in for a treat. This is the Musketeers Guild, which was a class cut out really late into, into 1.0 to the point where there was... There's actually still weapon models in the game. Uh, and this is where the Marauders Guild is in ARR. The Indigo Deep has to be a battlefield, the Sahagin in their primal refusing any attempts at peace. All the more reasons why the Knights of Barracuda make a stand drive the accursed creatures back into this. Oh, this is the this is where the Knights of the Barracuda are. And just like in ARR, if you go downstairs, you'll see, like, actual, like, Musketeers. So, if the Musketeer class was actually created, this would be your guild hall. But because it wasn't, it's got completely kicked, cut out, and... Yeah. So you'll... Now you'll see people actually, like, shooting things. And there's actually people down here, and usually there's, like, no one. Okay, so that's the first interesting thing, thing about Limsa, is the fact that that's an actual guild. And a lot of, like, stuff from that class is, was used for Machinist, uh, but not all of it. Now I need to find out Etherite, or... Uh, there's the Etherite at the Bismarck, great. Oh yeah, and all of these u named u NPCs have dialogue too. And there's no etherite here. Why is there no f freaking etherites? Okay, fine. I guess because of the private server, they don't spawn. <laughs> so we are taking the long way. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy this music. Oh, but here's something interesting. We are going to where the etherite plaza is today. And it's completely empty, and there's just this weird structure in the middle. Oh, and also, you can see Dalamud here, too. Hi, Dalamud! Uh, and here's, like, the little shopping area. Okay, so we're going to the Arcanist Guild. Which was, like Musketeer, it was another class cut out of uh, 1.0. It's... But I want to show you the weapon for Arcanist. Because they have the weapon here, and I showed pictures in a couple of the discords I'm in. But they are, like... I don't know about, I don't know about the weapons.
Okay, so if I go downstairs... So, upstairs is Melvin's Gate. And if you go downstairs... That's the actual, like, Arcanist Guild. Here... This is the weapon. It's kind of like this mechanical-looking staff with, like, a thingabopper at the top. And then this, like, weird little valve. And there's actually, like, remnants of the weapons that the player would have used in the code. And they all have, like, different designs. And they're all really weird and really strange. And honestly, I prefer the book. <laughs> I know people rag on the book, but I prefer them. Let's see. This is how you would have used the... ...the weapon. So he's like cast, like trying to cast a spell right now. Let's talk to him. Oft times, Laniad went an one answer and called upon. You don't think she's sleeping now, do you? Well, is she sleep? She doesn't look sleeping to me. They say you truly learn of... the. Oh. They say the more you learn of the arcane arts, the less you truly know. I wonder if the opposite's true as well. Alright, last thing in our tour of Limza is the Marauder's Guild. Because if the Musketeer's Guild is where the Marauder's Guild is now, so where is the Marauder's Guild? Well, we have to walk all the way over there. Unless there's a shortcut I can take. Well, I'll just show you on the map. So, this is the Marauder's Guild over here. And actually, there's that weird area right there that's not in the air. I'm gonna check that out really quick. What is this area? Because this is not in the in the game today. From behind these walls, oft can be heard the screamings and moanings of innocent souls learned at the eternal torment. If you remain in limbs long enough, perhaps one day you'll be drawn on yourself. Mwahaha. What the fuck? We're gonna nudge. Nudge. Oh. I was not meant to be here. I am breaking the game. This... what the fuck? I don't know if I'm supposed to swear in... I... I broke something. I don't think you were supposed to go into that room, guys. Uh, I think there was a reason why the door was, like, closed permanently. So we'll just nudge ourselves back in! Alright. It is hilarious, so it's on the map, but apparently it's, like, not, like, an actual thing. Alright, so we're going back, we're going to the Marauder's Guild, which you kind of saw the NPCs there. It's that ship in the distance, which... For the longest time in, in uh, Final Fantasy XIV, you have no reason of, to go there. And I th it's also a confusing layout, and I think I already- yeah, I already messed up. You fight- you're finally required to go- I know, right, Ma Maya? If only I was able to fall, but unfortunately I can't. Um... You finally go to that ship in the Shadowbringers post-patch MSQ. And that's where you meet a uh, Sitard or Sitgard for the first time.
But yeah, the Marauder Guild's in the ship! And this is actually the home of the Yellow Jackets, I wanna say? I don't know about your face, which means you ain't worth more than the Mudowing Boots. Watch your back, Scrag, if you know it's good for you. Well, screw you. I, oh, or maybe it's the more Barracuda Knights. But see, there's the little, like, icon. Oh, we already have something here. On your feet, adventure, there's no place for napping. Huh. <sighs> the last thing I expected I'd be doing when I enlisted with the Barracudas was babysitting adventures, especially with my fellow knights are exploring mysterious islands and the waging sea battles with the Servant Reapers. And he is literally sleeping. He is not dead, he is sleeping. I don't know what the tales your mommy, Mammy, told you, but being a pirate ain't... Okay, so there's still pirates. And if you'd be cra craving a little of this and that, I might be able to help you, you'd be serving the bottom line. Uh, I'm not going to explore a ship, because I'll get lost, but yeah, that's... And... Well, I don't think it's here. There it is, let's check it out. I want to see if, if there's, like, the Rogue Guild. Or, like, what was it called in AR? Like, the Seven Sisters or whatever? Because Ninja, like, Rogue and Ninja are not, not not a class in this game. And as far as I know, they never were meant to be. Uh, yeah, I don't think they are. Because that's where this the ferry dock normally would be, like, right there. But instead you have that platform. But, okay. So... I might as well show y'all Limsa, or Lenosha. I know, it was, a, it was a long time ago, Maya. I can't remember the Grandma Hall either. No show, let's go to House. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, crap. Uh, Skull Valley, I think. even close where I wanted to go. Yeah, so this is Lenosha. It looks fairly similar to today, except there's that, like, mountain thing, which I'm not sure what that is. Should you see in close one the form one to go to me? Okay. This is what the Lenosha map lo looks like. So you have Aleport down here. Ah, oh, there's Halfstone. Camp Bald and all. That's where I wanted to go. And yes, it's called, uh, Camp Baldnall. So... Yeah, it's just a really, really big map. Um... There's no Costa del... Costa del... Uh, there's Costa del Sol or anything like that. But the reason why I wanted... Part of the reason why I wanted to is talk about Halfstone. Halfstone is in ARR where the Sahagan breeding ground is. Um, yeah, I hate it too. It is awful. And Lenosha's map is worse, arguably, just because of the elevations. It doesn't tell you what elevations things are on. Like, if you look at this, there's a world dungeon here called uh, Shposhe. If you look at this, it looks like there is no way to actually get in there to actually go into the dungeon. But there is. It's on the map. It's like right. It's this area right here. But not this area. This area specifically. But anyway, yeah. So Halfstone is like still a thing here. It's like where the Sog and Breeding Ground is. All of this is where the Sog and Breeding Ground is. And I'm going to dip into uh, a world dungeon. We're going to go to Bald Knoll. We're going to go to Miss Bert's. Miss Bird's Cave. So, oh, here's a Storm Sergeant. What do you have to say? Please understand, I cannot issue company guild leaves to those persons not listed in the Maelstrom. Okay, so I guess that's where you would go to um, do GC leaves. So map. Okay, going the right way. So Miss Bird. So. In A Realm Reborn, you have a dungeon called Sahasha. Sahasha. 
whatever it's called. The first dungeon you you fought you you're in the level 16 dungeon. That place is not in 1.0. It is nowhere in 1.0. It is not a thing. Instead, you have Mistbeard Cove, uh, Shposhe, and Kaliath and Ka um, Cassiopeia Hollow, which is not where I can find it. Yeah, who knows where that is? It's it's the place though. It's somewhere around here. Um, just I don't know. It's a it's confusing. It's a really confusing map, guys. And you can't zoom in or zoom out. You can't zoom in. But it's another world dungeon in um in Lenosha 1.1, and they all share similarities of of that first dungeon in, in Realm Reborn. And that's not the only similarity they share, because Mispred Cove and Cassiapo Hollow have the same dungeon instruments. It's literally copy-pasted copy -pasted textures. Which is infamous in this game. It is so bad. So yeah, so we're going to dig into this dungeon. And here's the map, since y'all like the map design. So, this place... Yeah, it's not... bad! It's not as bad as some of the other ones, but it's still... It's still not great. So you have this long tunnel, which is kind of similar to, like, Satasha's, like, initial tunnel. Before you get into the like the big open area, um, and you have like this is this kind of calls out to me kind of like the very piratey area, or maybe like a lot of the like the Stasha Hard area. But this is a Sahagan zone because there's the Sahagan like flag, and so a lot of the dungeon is just like these wooden areas where there's like boxes and so kind of like the middle part of Sagan I actually the middle part of Satasha where like you mainly fight the pirates but I'm actually gonna go this way oh and also the music's not supposed to this music's not supposed to play in here. The only reason why it does is because for some reason the... Uh, I think it's because the client actually doesn't change the music unless the server tells it to. That's my theory, which is like really awful design in a lot of ways. And yeah. So this would kind of be like a breeding ground. Alright. Uh, I haven't shown y'all Thanos map. Let's go to Thanos. I wonder if that, uh, if those rats have respawned yet.